And um, I would say that that's a positive sign too. Guys continue to come, it's a, it's a smart thing. Um, in thinking back over the six times that, um, that we have done this um, together, um, I see a couple of trends. I know we don't have much time, but I just want to pass on a couple of things. The first is, is that um, looking from six years back all the way where we are now, we have obviously made a significant amount of progress. And the situation of balance and the situation of equity and fairness is substantially uh, improved over when we first started uh, a number of years ago. That doesn't mean we, ha the sec my second point is, yeah, but we haven't fixed the problem. We haven't completely fixed the problem. We have made progress, but we haven't necessarily completely got where we want to, where we want to be. So I don't have an answer for fixing that. I think that as our first speaker said, this is something that will continue to take time. And I think many of us will think, well, time's not fast enough. But nonetheless, it requires societal change. It requires a lot of factors. My third point is, is this is extremely tough business. It's easy to go ahead and look at this in a narrow sort of way, um, but frankly, it's an extremely complicated subject with a lot of factors. So I think you have to look at it in a broader way, which then brings me to the one point which I was really the most proud of and the most pleased about. And that's that in, if you put together the totality what everybody said, the group, and I think we as a society have moved beyond this being a bilateral discussion of a war between men and women, and it's growing, growing more in the direction of embracing diversity in a significantly broader sense. And I would point out, since I'm the chairman of AmCham, in AmCham we have a diversity committee. We do not have a women's committee, not that I don't love and appreciate all the other women's groups in the country, but we have a diversity committee because that's the line that we have been following for many years. To go ahead and say the trick behind this, or what we think is the future, is embrace everybody to be the best that they can be, eliminate all the barriers that discriminate against anyone for anything, so that it is a fair opportunity, and at the same time, understand that everyone is different. And as we said when we first started on out, this is not about, I think it sounds like a terrible thing to say, but this is not about being completely fair. This is about treating everyone as an individual, seeing what their capabilities are, seeing what their needs are, seeing what their aspirations are, seeing what their life choices have to be, and taking all of that together and seeing if we can put it together in a mix that works. That will be extremely hard to do. But I would, I really like the idea that we're moving away from this. Um, you know, there are, there are guys who say, my gosh, we're talking about women's issues, but it's really tough being a young man nowadays and getting ahead too. And that's certainly true. It is, it's true. So we do, I believe, think we need to move along farther along on embracing diversity, and at the same time, understanding that treating people differently, you could say, oh, but you're treating people differently, you're discriminating. Well, okay, you are discriminating, perhaps in a way. But if you're discriminating with a good outcome in mind, maybe that's something that we can get, get away with. Now, I'm not gonna do the laundry list of what everybody said. It's a brilliant group, they have said brilliant things, we haven't solved the problem, but we have had a chance for a bit over an hour to think about it. So I thank you all so much for coming. There's an opportunity maybe for a little more networking outside. Please let's do that. But as we're embracing equity, let's all of us embrace diversity in the fullest sense of the word, and at the same time honor every human being regardless of where they come from on the planet, regardless of whether they're tall or, or tall or men or women, or black or white or brown, or speak seven languages or speak two, treat everyone as an individual, understand that they probably have a skill that can be valuable, let's find the skill and make them as most productive and as happy as they can be, and that's the best outcome for them, for our companies and for our society. Thank you very much. Thank you.